let's take up the analytical cash book analytical petty cash book in this uh, video in my last video i had shown you how to prepare the simple petty cash book now let's uh, see what is the difference between a simple petty cash book and an analytical petty cash book and how to prepare this analytical petty cash book first of all analytical petty cash book again it has got two sides one uh, side that is the left side is for recording the uh, receipts the receipts is basically the payments for the i mean like the receipt for the petty cash which is received from the main cashier and whatever payments are being made that is recorded on the right hand side right the basic difference here is in in the analytical uh, cash book we have separate columns for separate items right for a particular item let's say stationery one separate column will be given so whatever expenses relating to stationery is there that will be put in that stationery column same way convents there will be one separate column right whereas in the simple petty cash book it was all done in the right hand side in the particulars column i mean there was no separate column for that right so basically here again there are two columns uh, there are uh, i have put it this way the left hand side is for recording the receipts from the main cashier right and the right hand side has got separate columns for particular items like stationery all the petty cash items right stationery conveyances cartage let's say postage there can be other uh, expenses which happen frequently right okay that can be put here and there may be some infrequent uh petty cash expenses which can be put under miscellaneous or sundries right now i'll show you the uh, format of an analytical petty cash book first of all you will have the receipts and then okay i'll put down the columns first now i'll write down this first see this is the receipts column here the first one and the second one is date here i have a uh, voucher number right and then this one is the particulars column and here i write the total payment the total payment after that this is broken down into separate columns for particular items let's i'll just take up three four items here so let's say conveyance stationery right then uh, let's say cartage and one column for sundry sundry expenses right sundry petty expenses so this is basically the format of a analytical uh, cash book petty cash book 
now the advantage in this is at the end of the period for which this analytical petty cash book is prepared we can clearly see the amount spent on each of these items like we can see how much amount has been spent on conveyance how much amount has been spent on stationery like this right and um, whatever is the uh, total of this particular column or whatever transactions has happened for this particular column this can be easily posted into the ledger so this itself acts as a i mean convenient way of posting it into that particular ledger account right and uh, basically the main difference between a petty cash book simple petty cash book and analytical petty cash book that you should remember is that the, the we call this as analysis columns right the analysis columns are there in analytical petty cash book for separate items right whereas the same is not there in simple petty cash book right and in a simple petty cash book you can't really make out the expenses uh, for particular items like conveyance stationery and all but in analytical petty cash book uh, we can easily find out how much has been spent on each head right so this is the format now i'll take up a small question just uh, two three transactions i'll take up in this video and in the next video we can uh, look at a whole question of analytical petty cash book right so first of all let's say if i have something like this received rupees 5000 for petty cash expenses right uh, let's say this comes on january 1st and on january 10th we say paid conveyance right 500 rupees and on january 12th paid cartage 200 rupees and let's say january 14th again paid conveyance 200 rupees and january 19th spent on repairs of minor repairs of furniture right a thousand rupees right and uh, let's say january 25th paid cartage once again 400 let's say we have this right now i'll this is received rupees 5000 for petty cash expenses right now first of all in the received column you'll write here rupees 5000 this was received on january 1st right okay this is basically cash account it will be because you are receiving cash here right and uh, then now we have the these things paid conveyance on january 10th so first of all put the date january 10th now it is a payment here so you will write by conveyance right payments all the payments are by con by uh, that payment and whenever you receive cash it is to cash account right here first of all you will write the total payment fine so whatever is the total payment 500 rupees that will come here and after that it will also be put in the appropriate column fine same way you have january 12th paid cartage so here you will put down the date january 12th you will write here buy cartage right whatever is the amount 200 so in cartage you will have 200 right now see i have paid conveyance once again 200 right 
so here uh, the date was january 14th so here i'll write january 14th by conveyance once again amount total amount is this 200 and here it will come in this conveyance column right spent on repairs of furniture now in this case let's assume that repairs of furniture is not a recurring item so it is uh, it happens uh, very rarely right okay so here i'll put it as by sundries by repairs you can write and you can put it in sundries right this is 1000 rupees i put as sundry expenses right and then paid cartage rupees 400 january 25th so january 25th we have here i'll write by cartage 500 and this 500 will go to the here cartage column right after this once we do this then we have to find out the closing balance at the end of the period right so all these are totaled fine so basically you first of all have to total all this so it's 500 here it's uh, not much actually 500 200 700 plus 200 900 here it is 1400 here it is 700 right here it is 700 once again and i have not put thousand here in repairs so i'll put that so it becomes 2400 actually it's 2400 and here it will be 1000 now the total of um, this received side is how much the total of the received side is 5000 rupees right now the balance carried down will be written here that is uh, 5000 minus 2400 right so that is 2600 fine so 2600 is the balance carried down next month this balance carried down or in the next fortnight uh, whatever is the frequency for giving the petty cash uh, this will become the opening balance and whatever has been spent that is 2400 that will be reimbursed to the petty cashier so that his opening balance comes to rupees 5000 right so this is the format of analytical petty cash book the columns here depends on the type of expenses the company has right so for different uh, firms uh, the columns can be different and uh, there may be some columns which happen uh, like repairs and all which happen very frequently in one firm whereas in the other firm it is not that frequent so the other firm will put that in sundry expenses they can even have a separate column for repairs if they want right so this is the way to prepare analytical cash book with that i'll come to the end of this session bye